Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Fabulous Friday. So today I am using up some scraps. These are strips of paper that actually, when you watch Monday's video, you'll know where these vid these papers came from. This is a piece of coffee dyed paper. It's just a piece of scrap and I have some other thin pieces over here that all need to be used up. So what I'm going to do today is kind of sort of making a master board out of ink and stamps. So I have a bunch of my stamps here and I have a bunch of ink pads and I have my acrylic bases here. Uh, let me start with this one. I think I want to start with a fairly large one. This is a form and this I know that this ink is just about out. There's very little ink left in this pad, which means it's going to give me a very faint impression. And that is okay, because when it's a faint impression, it kind of fades into the background. And we'll talk about what to do with these strips once we've made them. But I kind of like the fact that it might fade into the background some. So let me just put that down there. That's not too bad. And it's the fact that it's only a partial is just fine. James Mitchell of 48 Summer Street. Bring this notice with you. Whatever it means. And I'm going to stamp each one, I think, at least three times, an odd number of times. It'll be three times or it'll be five times. I don't know. We're going to kind of go as the mood hits. And maybe it's a 1920. Maybe we'll go sideways sometimes. There we go. Because this is, like I said, this is like a master board. Oh, here. And then we're going to stamp off, stamp it off. Where's my lid? There we go. Maybe we'll do this one sideways or, you know, off kilter. All right. We'll leave Mr. James Mitchell over there. And now we're going to get something else. Uh, what else do we have? I got tickets. I think I might want tickets. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want this one. This is from a set I just recently got. I haven't played much with it. In fact, I haven't played with it at all. This is, it says, carte postale, or postale, or carte postale, depending upon what you are. Um, let's make this one a little bit darker. This is archival ink. This is a brand new one. This was Craft Smart ink dye pad, and it both in black. This has been a wonderful pad, and I really have enjoyed it. But it is running out of ink, and I don't, I haven't been able to find a reinker for that particular one. So I'm, if you know where one is, let me know, because what I find with the archival ink is that it stains my um, stamps. All right, smack dab right over all three. We're going to get part of you on all three. Ooh, do you see what I mean about the darkness versus the lightness? Now those kind of fade into the background and this becomes much more prominent. Behind this, I am using a piece of white watercolor out of a watercolor um, oh, that didn't work at all, did it? Here, let me do it this way. I know I'm probably off screen, but I'm trying not to get too much on my pad, but I want to get just the edges. Okay, let's just clean you off. See what you get. Not much. All right, a lot of that came off, but you see, I mean, it's not stamping anymore, and you see how dark that has gotten. So I'm, the archival ink is really cool but and nice and dark, but it really makes a mess of my stamps. 
If anybody knows of a way to ink that or clean that, what I should clean it with, let me know in the comments below, please, because I would like to get that off a little bit. Okay, let's put in a design of some sort here. What do we got? Now, you know what we need? We need words. Words, words, words. Words, words, words. I'm so sick of words. I hear words all every day. I forget all the words to that one. It's the... It's from... Well, I won't tell you what it's from. You tell me what it's from. How many of you get that reference? Urgh. Okay, I'm going to do this one in walnut stain. These are words, and I haven't used this stamp before. This is from Park Lane, uh, and it, is, it doesn't say, it just says clear stamps. It has, that's the number on it. 1967 8549 um but okay ah, don't fall that way now you made a mess i might see that's exactly what i'm trying to avoid okay let's put you this whole way oh i like that i like what that how that looks This is walnut stain that I'm using. Let's go right over the top up here. Yeah, I like these. This is going to, I think this is moving into my new favorite stamps section. Okay, you know what, I'm going to do that one more time because I want some up here and I want some here. And I want some down here. And I want some up here. There we go. That looks nice. Yeah, I just got these when they went on sale at um, at Joanne's at one point. Because I am a cheap son of a gun. Okay, give me another pad here. I think we need to add a color. I think it's time to add a color. What color shall we add? Got this cool piece here, but we need to add a color. Um, I'm currently working, well, I'm working on a black and white journal, but that wouldn't, these won't work for that. And we got peeled paint. That's a nice green. Let's see what that does. Peeled paint. I like that. That looks really cool. Let's stick you here like a diamond. And down here like a square. This is a very cool stamp. This might also become one of my favorites. We've got a great big dead spot here, so we need something in there. And we need one more over here. Let's diamond it up. Here we go. Now we're going to stamp it off. Again, that one came almost clean. That's nice. I like it when it does that. Okay, we need a little bit more. 
What more do we need? Okay, let's look at what we've got here. We've got words. So we've done that. And we've got a form. Um, ooh, you know what? We have this. I think we need a little bit of this. Now this is also, now this is Recollections Black. Also starting to run out, but a little bit better shape than the other. I, I like this one too. Oops. Stamp it off. Okay. I like that. Oops. <laughs> I'm trying to put more. Yeah, it's not going to work. Okay. And then I have these guys. They're very, very little. Very little. Teeny tiny. So let's put those around and see what happens. I'm not hitting them very dark. So they're kind of going into the background, which is just fine. don't need them. I'm really kind of using them to fill in some spots here. Okay. There. Okay. You think it's time to use them on something? I pretty much filled them up. I don't want to, I mean, I could fill one more thing in there. Well, no, I don't think I want to, because if I fill too much in there, then there, when I go to put them on something, they won't work very well. Okay, I have a long skinny tag here. That's a base. Let's move you guys up here. We're going to do this, and see, that will become something at some point, someday. Okay, you're a big, fit, fit, a little, a thick, fat piece. We're going to leave you there. We're going to leave you there. I think I want this one. Okay. So I don't want it over the whole thing. So I'm going to rip it right here. This is really nice paper. Um, you will hear me talking about this particular paper on Monday. Yeah, I like that, but I think I want it to be a little bit less civilized. So we're going to take off that little piece, put that away. I don't know how much less civilized that is. It's still pretty civilized. I don't have a fancy tear ruler with all the different pieces on it. I know I could make one, and I have a wooden ruler here that I could certainly use for that, but I have not yet done it. Okay, looking for my glue book, which is right here. Let me grab my glue, and we'll make something with one of these. Why not? Because this is Fabulous Friday. You never know what you might get. We'll just see what's going to happen here. Okay, we'll put that down there. I like how that looks. Okay, and then we need, um, I think we need, what do we need? I know what we need. We need a little bit of tissue paper. Little tissue. I want it to go here. Because that green doesn't really go, it's not, it doesn't match the blue, but we don't really care because we're just 
playing. So we're going to see what comes up. In the meantime, we'll kind of cover over that some of that green. We don't want to cover it all. There. Just add a little bit of tissue paper. Um, we need a number. Definitely need a number. Now this is a big piece, so we could go with, you know, a big... There we, ooh, ooh, there we go. 34. Number 34. You down here. And you know what it needs? It needs just a little bit of a. No, I don't like that one. Ah, here we go. Here we go. This is what we need. We need a ticket. Um. I like the toll gate one. Let's go with the toll gate one and put it right there. I don't know what color should we do it in. I don't want to do it in the green because it doesn't really match. And I've got an awful lot of black and I got some brown on there and I have some blue here. I could do it with the blue and match up my blue that is, um, I have to find a better way to do my little ones because they're always upside down. This is faded jeans. So we're going to do this stamp and faded jeans right up there. Oh, there we go. Now, I've got extra ink on here, so you know what we're going to do. I'm just going to come over here and stamp it off. Let's stamp it off. There. Okay, now you know what we need. We need like a big, tall flower. And I don't have a big, tall flower at the moment. So I'm going to leave it just like that. And then when I find a big, tall flower, there we go. All right, so today on this fabulous Friday, um, if you don't have your stamps out, go ahead and get your stamps out. Replay the video if you want. And just line your stuff up on the paper and stamp away to your heart's content. And then use them to make cards. Use them on your, to dress up your cards. All right. I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button because you, you hit the like button and YouTube says, oh, people are liking this video. I'm going to show it to more people. And that's how I get more views. So click that like button. Make sure you hit it. And if you want to know when the next video is coming out, please make sure you hit the notification bell. I do have, I think, another walkthrough video coming out next Wednesday. Um... But click the notification bell and then, then you'll always know when the next video is. All right. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.